Okay, so one of my duties today is to help little Miss Thing here. This is Reba's baby, and right now she is a little anemic. Um, we've warmed everything with a new warmer. Uh, she is on medication because her the iron deficiency from Reba may have carried to her. We won't know until um, we just docked her like she had a heavy worm load. Um, which is what Doc said could have done it. But if she doesn't recover properly for that, which the treatment is all the same. So we just have to figure out whether she will recover. Right now she's gotten her red cell, which is what we do for Reba. She's eating. Last night we put her in the barn. She's These little spots of hay we've, is where we've had her bedded down. She gets up and around. She's not down, down. So, um, yeah, she's recovering nicely and actually more active than she was. But she just hanging in there aren't you big girl so I am on uh, alert for this little one okay so our kids center is coming together quite nicely there are inexpensive little cute crafty type gifts for them to give these are our pendants I have some different kinds in there and I've got another hook of them of course with the um, price tag there which will be a dollar. So we've got things from 25 cents a piece, um, which are little magnets with our favorite, oops, with our favorite um, animal on them. This is Zebu, and yes, it's a glittery one. We have some that are the day. Um, let's see here. Murphy! So they're just little magnets. They're just little wooden um, magnets that have the things names on them uh, we're working on cute little pencils so that this is a, a little cloth flower with a button and then on the back of course our cute little sheep thing so we've got some of those um, I've got some more of those I've got to get made this is cowboy bubble bath we've got pendants we've got these are little uh, set of little eight magnets and they, they have animals on them these are our little logo things and there's four of those. Then we have these that are six. I did one sideways and I don't like the look of it. So the rest of them are all up and down. Um, we have sheep of the farm, horses of the farm, goats of the farm, animals of the farm, and sounds of the farm. So those are the, the categories on this. We have um, a batch of soap that I messed up. Perfectly fine, but not something I'll sell. So we call it, oops, reconstituted. And then, of course, we've got these that are just little wooden ornaments. And then we've got farming an egg. So um, I've got some little samples that I had done for stuff. I'll have my wool balls up here. I've got different stuff that I'm going to set here. All of it for a kid's area. Um, and up above, I just store my, my bags so that I can do it. Over here, I've got my grown-up rack with the drop spindles, which goes in between the kids and the adults because I've taught both to do that. And then over here is going to be yarn. Lovely, lovely yarn and fashions and that kind of stuff. So um, some of my sewing stuff will also be over there, um, pillow pouches and that. And then the uh, gift bags or project bags, whichever you can call it, they're going to be over here in the adult area. So, And it's not the kids can't shop the adult area and the adults can't shop the kids there. It's just geared towards them. This is clear. Adults have to reach over the tumbler. Kids don't. They can come right over here. This stuff is going to go over in here as soon as I get this table cleaned off and get it where I want it. So, um, which I'm actually thinking might go over there. I don't know yet. Anyway, this is what I've been working on for the last few days and just thought I'd bring you up to date on that. It is looking better and the kids will have a blast. Okay, so, so far, I've gotten, uh, I had to take the truck town and get gas in it. Um, you've seen all the stuff I've been working on. I got the roosters moved out of the big barn into the other barn. I did a little clip on it because, honestly, I kind of think it's a cool door. I don't know why. It's just an old grain bin, and the way they did things back in the day just intrigued me. Hot and sweaty, can you tell? Oh. Um, RJ was late getting to work. But other than that, I've kind of been... I had some work to do on the computer, little stuff like that, but tonight I am getting to bed as soon as he gets home from work, which about 9, 30, 10 o'clock is probably when he'll get in, so I'm going to go straight off to bed. Um, 
but yeah just hot and sweaty and let's see for my food diary I think I only ate a small order of french fries this morning um, oh and three coca-cola gummies not good I'm going for a glass of tea right now I'm hot and just nothing really sounds good so or tastes good 